I may live to regret this because I just bought a $10 Apple Watch on Wish.com. Is it a piece of junk or is it a piece of affordable tech? Can it truly deliver everything it promises or did I just get scammed out of 10 bucks? In this video, I'm gonna be giving this fake Apple Watch a test run to see if it's worth the money or a waste of money. But before you pass judgment, make sure you watch to the end for the good news and the bad news because you might just be surprised. Okay, so let's see what I actually bought. I was browsing Wish.com when I noticed that they sell a lot of smartwatches that look suspiciously like an Apple Watch for very little money. So I did exactly what I always do when I'm suspicious that something might be a scam. I um, gave them my money. <laughs> I guess curiosity got the better of me on this one because I normally would never order something like this. Um, but I guess that's half the fun because I ordered a fake Apple Watch and two weeks later the package is here. So today we're gonna unbox it together and see what's inside. But before we do that, I wanna show you the original listing to show you exactly what I bought. So this is the listing of what I bought on wish.com. And first of all, I must be a complete moron for buying this when one of the slogans for this product is strand out because fantastic. Trust me, if we ever get merch for this channel, it's gonna have that plastered all over it. Rebuild from internal to outlook, assist you change your lifestyle for a better experience. Well, I think my brain just melted when I read that. Um, what else have we got here? So yeah, it looks pretty much like a legit Apple Watch there. You got the red ring as well. Um, apparently I'm gonna be shinning in the crowd. Hopefully that's uh, not a typo for sh Okay, serious mode now. It looks like we are promised a heart rate monitor. Um, so that's pretty good. What are the features? Oh, here's the features. So we got sleep monitor, um, anti-lost both ways, whatever, whatever that means. Uh, sedentary alert to remind you to stand up. Something about remote photograph, kind of spaghetti, micro USB cable. <laughs> um, and yeah, it looks pretty legit. Obviously it doesn't say Apple smartwatch anywhere, but I mean, look at the pictures. I, I think we all know what it's supposed to be. So yeah, it actually promises a lot of the functionality you'd expect from a real Apple watch, pretty much everything that it can do. So I find that very hard to believe, but I guess uh, we'll find out. So yeah, as you can see, I've got it right here in my hand and I think it's time for me to head downstairs, unbox this, and take a look at how much of what we've been promised is actually true or how badly I've been scammed. So let's do it. Right, so here it is in the box. Uh, let's unbox it. And I have to say, although it might look kind of Apple-ish at first, this feels kind of like a cereal box more than the packaging of a high-end smartwatch. Okay. So yeah, this definitely is feeling pretty cheap already. So we've got some like Chinese instructions. I'm sure there's English in there. I'm already feeling very quickly that this is not a legitimate Apple Watch, but what did I expect for $10? So all we've got here is the watch instructions and a micro USB charging cable. So that already kind of sucks that clearly it's not gonna be wirelessly charging. So we've got that. On first impressions, I have to say, this actually does look quite a lot like an Apple Watch Series 4. I mean, you've even got the little kind of red ring there, the coveted red ring. Um, but already I can see there's no button here. There's supposed to be a button here, so you're missing a button already. Um, and also on the other side, there's a kind of flap. Oh, and that's where the micro USB port is, so that's where you'll be charging it. Um, so that's a couple of differences already, and yeah, this, the digital crown feels pretty cheap. Let's get the screen protector off at least. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, there's like some, some of the glue of the screen protector actually <laughs> stuck on it. I can see already there's a pretty nasty looking bezel. It looks pretty brutal actually, especially on the top and bottoms and a little bit on the sides as well. The back, which has like the heart rate monitor sensor kind of thing, does actually look pretty legit. I don't know how we've managed this, but if you showed that to me pretty quickly, and even if I had a quite a close inspection, I would say that looks like a real Apple Watch. So that's uh, that's something. So here it is up against my own Apple Watch. It's a Series 2 one, this one, in case you couldn't tell. And it actually 
it really does a great job of just at a quick glance looking identical. I mean, so far for 10 bucks, it's actually a lot better than I expected. I was expecting the quality more like a child's toy. So uh, yeah, this is somewhat surprising for how much I actually paid for it. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is just turn it on, give it a test run. And I mean, that looks good. That, 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 that looks legit, right? So there you go, that is the screen. And first of all, what I can tell you about the screen is that we were promised HD Super Retina in the listing, and that's the same tech behind Apple's current iPhone screens. But I can confirm that this screen definitely isn't that. I mean, I don't know if you can see in the video, but if you look really close, you can see the individual pixels on everything if you just put it right close to you. So it's probably just a regular LCD screen, nothing special. So that's already not a great start. So functionality wise, this definitely isn't anything close to Apple's watchOS at all. It's just a watch face and the apps behind it in a sub menu and that is it. You cannot install any additional apps like you could with a real Apple Watch. So whilst it may look like Watch OS when you first turn it on, this is basically just a generic Chinese fitness tracker in a fake Apple body. I mean, take the watch face for example, it kind of looks a little Apple watch like, just like uh, on my watch, but it's not, it has no functionality at all. Like these stats in the corner, you'd think you could tap them and go to that section or whatever. Well, you can't, it, it just does nothing. The fitness wheel does nothing. The globe does nothing. I don't know about the, the music. Okay, so after disconnecting and reconnecting uh, this fake Apple Watch, the music function does work. I'm listening to the Vergecast podcast, if it works. There you go. And that's the sound coming out of my phone. But the only thing that I couldn't get to work was volume. The volume just does not change at all. And also what's really funny is I'm pretty sure that my 12 p.m. lunch with Ken is, that that's not something I can change. That's built into the watch face just for no reason. So I'm not sure how I really feel about having a reminder for all eternity that I have a lunch with Ken. So you can actually change the watch face considering it is so weird and has so much pointless stuff on it. Um, you just tap and hold on the screen and then swipe and you get a choice of four. So, you know, that's something. It, I mean, the, the default one is so bad that these can't really be much worse. So I'll stick with this fake Nike one for now. Right, so I'm gonna give myself a call. Let's see how this turns out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be great because everything about this watch is amazing. Oh, there we go. That is the watch making that noise, by the way. Okay, let's answer. Sorry, I didn't realize we were so advanced. I have to swipe it that way. Hello? Wow. That is actually coming out of the watch and uh, it doesn't sound completely god awful. Okay, let's try and send myself a WhatsApp next. Right, here we go. I'm gonna send myself a WhatsApp. T minus right now. There we go, three notifications, let's view them. Yeah, there's, that's actually what I sent to myself. I said testing um, and there's the two calls miss. So you do get notifications. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is pretty stupid. I'm gonna wear this for the next 24 hours. Hopefully it won't blow up on my wrist, um, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wear it just to see how it actually is to use, if it actually does work. So I will be back in a sec to give you my final thoughts. So, do you want the good news or the bad news first? Well, since you can't answer, I'm gonna say you guess the positive. So let's start with the good news. So firstly, at a quick glance, this watch, I have to say, does look like a genuine Apple Watch if you don't look too closely. And I know that now because I did manage to fool a few people. Obviously, they didn't know better, but they did think it was my regular watch. Plus, you can actually dial out from the fake watch, make a legitimate phone call, then speak and listen to the call solely through the watch. The same goes for answering calls too. So you have to admit that is pretty mad for $10 to be able to do all of that, right? Now for the bad news though. So brace yourselves because this isn't pretty. There are simply way too many of these apps that just don't function. Phone book, call log, text messages, for example, they just have no function at all. Connection issues were an absolute nightmare constantly with the Bluetooth connection unable to decide whether 
it felt like saying it was connected or not connected to my phone. Some apps would say it was disconnected, whilst when I went onto another one, it just continued to work like it was connected. The volume function also never worked on the Bluetooth music app, so there's another app that doesn't really work properly either. My charade of fooling people into thinking I was wearing my real Apple Watch was abruptly ended any time the watch made a sound because all the notification sounds and even the vibrate function sound like they were made for a Nokia 3310, if I'm honest. So surprise, surprise, it's not a legit Apple Watch and it's pretty useless overall, but is it worth 10 bucks? Well, in its defense, apart from its inaccurate description of the screen in the listing, it does perform all of the things that it said it would, mostly. But unless you're buying this just to trick your friends or for some sort of weird party trick, I don't think this is gonna satisfy your craving for an Apple Watch whatsoever. I guess the only question left to ask is, did Wish.com really just scam me out of $10? Well, I think we all know, sorry guys, uh, I just realized, I'd love to finish this video, but I just realized that I'm late for my 12 p.m. lunch with Ken at Tartine, so uh, I'll have to see you guys in the next video. Oh, but if you did want to check out some more videos, you can check out my five best budget true wireless earbuds here, or you can check out my five best budget ANC headphones video here. So uh, pick one of those. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.